Oh, my biggest one. If my mother agent sees that, she's going to laugh. <laughs> uh, Chantal is going to die laughing. I've had acne issues for almost my entire modeling career until recently. Until before Hong Kong, my acne stopped because I went on Accutane. It actually got to that point and everyone's like, really, like Accutane, like did you really, it's, as you know, it's a very, very potent drug. It really harms your liver. Mm -hmm. And I really needed it because for me, I started getting like pimples already in the beginning before I started modeling. It was just, you know, your typical, you know, teenage acne. Yeah. It was, you know, your forehead, little blemishes, whatever. Mm -hmm. So I was using, you know, proactive. I use Acne Free, Neostrata, Vichy, and then I finally, then I went on birth control, which I, you know, to try and regulate my yeah. hormones, which was even worse. Oh, God. And that was, that I will never take birth control again, because that was the worst thing that I yeah. ever could have done to my body. And then after that, I went to the doctor and I tried different creams. I tried benzamycin, I tried clindamycin. Then I tried different pills. I tried minocin, minocyclin, do doxycycline. Oh I think I tried, I know everything. I did blue light laser treatment. I actually was at the end of my rope. And I think anyone who suffers from acne, like mine wasn't, it wasn't horrible, but for modeling, I mean, especially being a shorter girl. Being a shorter girl, you have more pressure to, you know, mm. look perfect. Yeah, you have you know? to like, bring all you can yeah exactly especially because you're going up against girls that are 5 10 5 11 yeah you know like why would you pick me and then i have bumpy skin when you can have a girl that's 5 10 5 11 even if she has some blemish it's fine whatever but she's tall i'm not yeah. and then it just got to the point that it got so bad and that i really needed to do something even my own mom was telling me like natalia it's getting bad like i started getting like cysts like it was like like nodules like under the skin yeah. it got so horrible and anyone with acne will tell you there's nothing more self-debilitating than acne. Yeah. Because it's not something like weight that you can work on. And you know, you go, you can diet, you can go to the gym, you can do a yoga class, whatever. Mm -hmm. And you can see like results slowly. With acne was, I tried everything. I tried diet and it's on my face. Like, and it's on my face. Then, you, exactly, you can hide. I mean, you can wear concealer. Mm -hmm. But come on, you're just cre creating like a clay mountain. You're putting yeah. on a mask. Yeah. And there's nothing worse than having to do that. You're like, I cannot leave my house without foundation on my face and yeah. I hated that feeling but I had to because otherwise I I did not have the confidence to just go out into the world and be like here's my acne especially I at couldn't. a casting especially at a casting especially going against like these absolutely beautiful girls whether they're nice or not or whether they have a great personality you know sometimes like that didn't didn't matter let's mm -hmm. say in, in China where you know there is that language barrier yeah. and I'm unable to promote myself they looked at my skin so you know when I had the bumpy skin I wasn't working mm -hmm. but then I decided to finally go on on the Accutane, which helped me significantly. I mean, there were side effects, of course. It's, you know, you get red eyes, dry nose, etc. But honestly, I feel a thousand times better having taken it. I think that's the best decision I ever made. It wasn't even for modeling. It wasn't like, oh, I did this to model. I did this so I can keep modeling. It was for myself. It was yeah. so I can wake up and go, oh, look, I can actually leave the house without foundation. Now it's like, I mean, I came back from a shoot, so I have a layer of makeup on my <laughs> face but now it's like i can wake up i'll put on my moisturizer and i'm good to go yeah i do not know what that i don't remember the last time i could do that maybe i was 16 or 15 so that was what eight years ago the last time i could leave my house without powder or foundation on my face Wild. so i was just like now i'm like honestly i have a very minimal approach to makeup like mm. i do not want to wear foundation i do not want powder concealer under eye fine but I remember just having acne was the worst thing and now it's it's just going away and I mean there's still like some spots but I just feel so much better mm -hmm. and then it's just like I said it's for me it's for the long run like you don't want to have bumpy skin model or not mm -hmm. it's just the worst thing so whenever it's like I, I see someone with acne like I feel for them so much because I'm like I know exactly what you've been through I've had eight years of it mm -hmm. like it was the worst yeah like for me the exact same like the, my skin only cleared up after I stopped modeling Mm -hmm. Like, because it's the only time I ever bothered to go to a dermatologist because it wasn't, like, that severe. Mm -hmm. But, like, there's also this image around model models where it's, like, models have perfect skin, per yeah, perfect, perfect teeth, and, perfect like, hair, very yeah. well groomed, essentially just, you know, we wake up and it's effortless. Mm -hmm. And it's, like, when you're a model and you're not all those things, you're, like, oh, I'm, no. not, I'm, not, I'm not doing this right. Someone's going to find me out. Someone's going to, I'm, I'm not going to be a part of this anymore. Yeah, exactly. Like it's that, like, I don't terrifying. Have, yeah, exactly. It's horrible. And then you're yeah. like, 
I don't have the right look. Is my skin okay? Is my hair okay? Are my teeth okay? Yeah. And all of a sudden you start worrying about your image so much more. It's good to care about your image, of mm -hmm. course. I mean, you want to like, yeah, exactly. One like, you know, you want to like present yourself, but to an extent, you don't yeah. want to have to like go overboard. Like when you're just like looking at yourself every day, going, "Is this okay? Is this okay? Is this okay?" Yeah. That's a bit too much.